Lau, Aris. Happy birthday, Diego. Roel. I must tell you that long before God created the sun, the moon, and the stars, and long before God created the mountains and the hills, God already knew that the water will be high. There will be high tide on the day He will be ordained deacons. Never mind the high tide. Never mind the pandemic preventing you from inviting other guests. Never mind the face shields. Never, never mind these things. Because only one thing is important. The Lord is here and the Lord is calling you. And as important as the Lord's presence and the Lord's call is you are here and you are saying yes to God. That's all that matters. Everything else is bonus. Good weather, bad weather, sickness, or even death, all of these are bonus. What is important is you now belong to the Lord and the Lord embraces you as His own. It is not by accident that you receive the diaconate in the year of St. Joseph. I am very sure that we, when you entered the seminary years ago, you were not sure about what was waiting for you. We did not know about the year of St. Joseph in the year 2021. But you are ordained in the year of St. Joseph because St. Joseph was a deacon, a different kind of deacon, but also a deacon to whom you can pattern your life as deacons. St. Joseph was the head of the family. And even if he was head of the family, he was not primary because he was not the Word made flesh. Even if he was the head of the family, he was not number one because his wife was immaculately conceived and Joseph was not. So the first word to remember about St. Joseph is no matter what happened, Joseph was always secondary. He was never primary. He was never in the spotlight. He was always in the background, secondary all the time. As deacons, you will be asked to be secondary, assisting the bishop, assisting the priest. You will be secondary. You will not be able to celebrate the Eucharist. You will not be able to confect the Eucharist to become the body and blood of Christ. You will always be secondary. You will be configured as deacons to Christ who is head of the body, the church. But even if you are like Jesus, the head of the church, you are not primary. You will only be secondary and always secondary. You will only be walking in the shadow of the Lord. Follow that shadow because the Lord is leading you to light. Secondary. Do not be afraid to be secondary. Do not aim for the limelight. Do not aim to be number one because that is not your vocation. Your vocation is to be the protector of the family even if you are not the Word made flesh, even if you are not the Immaculate Conception. Joseph, in between the Immaculate Conception and the Word made flesh, was totally and only a human being, secondary, but he was happy to be secondary. He took delight in being at the background. He took delight in being only a spotlight, focusing on the Lord. 
about St. Joseph, nothing can be said because there is nothing recorded about St. Joseph that he said. So your second duty, my dear brothers, is the duty of silence. It is not the silence of the cowards. It is not the silence of the ignorant. It is not the silence of the timid and the shy. No. It is the silence of the listener. You are now called for perpetual silence. It is not that you will not talk, but rather, whatever you say beginning today should only be an echo of what the Lord has told you. You are only an echo of the Lord. We do not like to hear your voice. We are not interested about your opinion. We are not interested about your personal insights. We want to hear the Lord from you. We want you to echo the Lord. When you read the gospel, it is not your word. It is the gospel of the Lord. When you preach the homily, it is not your opinion. It is the teaching of the Lord. When you instruct, it is not your instruction. It is the instruction of the Lord. And when you baptize, it is not you baptizing, but the Lord acting through you. Silence. Silence because beginning today, you will only be an echo. The voice of Lau, Aris, Jego, and Roel will no longer be heard because your voice should only be and always be the voice of Jesus. There is nothing recorded about St. Joseph, but much is said about St. Joseph. Because in that silence, he echoed the voice of the Lord. And the third about St. Joseph is who you are, deacons, diaconia, service. You are called to serve. You are not slaves. You are servants. A slave is not free. You are free. A slave does not have to love. The slave does not have to love. The slave just has to do the duty. You are not just duty bound. You are love bound. You are serving in freedom. You are serving because you love. And that love is overflowing. That is why service will be overflowing in your life. And when the time comes, when you feel lazy, when you feel tired, when you feel like giving up, bruised and beaten, stand up because you were called to love. You are not doormats. You are deacons. The doormat does not say anything. The doormat endures everything. And we do not say thank you to the doormat. But you are servants. You are free to serve or not to serve. And you choose to serve. You are born in love. You are called by love. And you will live in love. And therefore, for you, there is no other choice but to love. And there is no other way to love than to serve. That is St. Joseph. He was not a slave. He was a servant of the Incarnate Word. He was a servant of the Immaculate Conception. My dear brothers, St. Joseph was not ordained a deacon. Maybe from a certain perspective, you might even say, you are more blessed than him. He was not ordained a deacon. He remained the carpenter. Joseph was not able to baptize. You can baptize. Joseph was not able to preach. You can preach. Joseph only blessed Jesus. You can bless the people of God in the name of Jesus. 
It is an awesome mystery. Because you are certainly less than Joseph. And yet, what is given to you was not even given to Joseph. And I hope you understand that. Don't miss it. Because if you miss it, it is like missing the presence of the Lord in your life. You are called to be servants like Joseph. You are called to a life of perpetual silence like Joseph without a word. Of you, may it be said what was said about St. Dominic. St. Dominic spoke to God. And when he was not speaking to God, he was speaking about God to his brethren. My dear brothers, this is your vocation. And trust your heart and trust your diaconate to the heart of Joseph. And as Joseph took care of Jesus and Mary immaculately conceived, may Joseph teach you how to be a servant of all, how to be a holy man according to the heart of Jesus. We look forward in God's time according to God's will to your ordination to the priesthood as the Lord wills. But even if you receive ordination to the priesthood, the mark of the Dalmatic the mark of the diaconate you will carry until eternity. It is not only priesthood that is eternal, the diaconate is also eternal. And forever you are called to serve, and forever you are called to serve and thank the Lord. Amen. <laughs>